Hey everybody, I'm Khalil Garriott, uh, Strategic Advisor with Unity Bands, and we have a very special guest that we're delighted to talk to today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, how's everyone doing? My name is Teresa Sharippa. I go by T. Um, I think we're talking to me today just because I have a, quite a bit of football experience and uh, the founder, John Trippa, is my brother. So I'm excited to uh, talk to you today. Thanks, T, for taking the time. Uh, so obviously, as you said, you know, you have a lot of football in your background. Who's your who's your current favorite football player? I got to ask Mahomes and not just because he's in the Super Bowl, not just because he won last year. I'll just remember his rookie season. I have never been a Kansas City fan. I grew up a Giants fan. Um, I have a cousin that played for the Colts, so I followed them. Now he plays for the Rams. So I've always liked a lot of teams, but I'll never forget having a KC game on his, uh, Mahomes' rookie year. And I was like, who is this guy? And it's just since then, I've been hooked. <laughs> I don't care when the game is. I want to get back to watch it. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. So Patrick Mahomes wears number 15 for the Chiefs. Yep. Um, you know, since he is T's favorite football player, why don't we set a, a goal of selling 1500 bands today on this, on this super Sunday? Can we sell 1500 unity bands? What do you guys think out there? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. All right. That's a, that's a lofty goal, but with everybody's help, I think we can, we can hopefully get there. So with that, um, you know, T, as you mentioned, you're actually a Hall of Fame football player. I think yes. you kind of undersold yourself there. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about that and what that honor was like to receive? Sure. So I started playing flag fo or football when I was 18 years old. I played for the New York Sharks. It's a women's semi-professional tackle team based out of New York. And I played for the Sharks for only about five years. And in my second year with the Sharks, I also started playing competitive flag football. So flag football is really what the bulk of my career, football career was. I really only stopped playing about two years ago. So I played about 18 years total of flag and tackle. So when I got the call that I was selected to the New York Sharks Hall of Fame, it was kind of out of left field because like I said, I was so focused on my flag career and that's what had been going on for so long. I was like, oh yeah, I, I used to play tackle football. And then I was like, yeah, and you know, I didn't play for very long, but I was good. I was good running back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not every day that we get to talk to a Hall of Fame football player. So yeah. as I said, she is a very special guest. That's pretty cool. So who's your pick for the big game? And do you have a final score prediction or an MVP prediction? All right. So I think it's going to be one of the best games in Super Bowl history. I really think it's going to be an exciting game. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. Um, it's tough because Brady definitely has the experience and, you know, but Mahomes won last year. So he's kind of riding off that. I think we all know Tom Brady's the best, the, the goat. Everyone says it, even if you're not a Brady fan, like you can't really argue with it, but I also have seen him make some big mistakes and, you know, you know Mahomes doesn't make too many mistakes. So I think if they both play, I just think it's going to be a great game. I'm going for the chiefs, but I wouldn't put money on it because it really could go either way. Uh, I want to say if I was, if the Chiefs win, I think it's going to be like 31, Bucks 31, Chiefs like 35, maybe 38, somewhere in that ballpark. And I think either way, either team that wins, it's either Brady or Mahomes. That's the MVP, no doubt. There you have it. You heard it here, folks. So watch for that when you are on your couch watching the big game. So, uh, you know, Unity Bands is still new, as you know, but it's it's growing and uh, going places, hopefully. So why do you want to be a part of its growth moving forward? I mean, even if COVID hasn't directly affected you with, I mean, it's been a year, so I feel like it's affected everyone. Even if you haven't lost your job or even if you haven't lost a family member or anything, like COVID has affected you. So something that's been going on and is so tragic, why would you not want to be part of the ultimate goal of like ending it or raising awareness for the vaccine or for hope or for just any relief effort. I, you're crazy not to want to be a part of that. Well said. And, you know, as you said in the intro, you're, you're John's sister and anyone who knows your uh, older brother knows that he is an entrepreneurial spirit. He's always got a big idea in his head and, and something he wants to tackle. 
Um, no pun intended there with tackle and football, but you know, this project is his brainchild. And uh, just curious, what do you think about his ability and talent for creating something from the ground up because you've known him your whole life? Yeah, I mean, he's resilient when it comes to that. I, I can off the top of my head think of so many things he's really started from the bottom and just pushed and pushed and pushed and never gave up. And, you know, he's really successful when it comes to that. I'm like the opposite. I just want something kind of like easy, get by. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll do something behind the scenes, but I don't have the patience to, you know, see, not that I don't have patience to see all the way things through, but I don't have the patience to start something from the bottom and like try to make it such a big thing. So I definitely give him a lot of credit. Um, but it's no surprise to me that he came up with something like this and is working so hard to get the word out. Agreed. And you mentioned before, you know, the fact that we're about 10 months into this um, in the U.S. and just the widespread effect that COVID has had. I'm curious, has COVID touched any of your family members or close friends? And if so, would you mind sharing those stories? So I've had a few friends and family get it, nothing so serious. Uh, we did just have a distant relative pass away a couple of days ago, actually. I didn't know him. It's I think my mom's second cousin, but John was very close to him and I know he was pretty upset. So, um, but just in terms, even like with loss of jobs, I don't, I don't really know anyone that it's affected terribly. So, and still, I don't have that close connection and I can still understand the importance of the bands trying to push the relief and awareness and unity. So for the people out there that have lost someone or have lost their jobs or are struggling, it's, you know, it's more important than ever. You should definitely understand that. Well, I'm sorry for your family's loss. That's, Thank you. that's, that's tragic. Um, you know, we have an ambitious fundraising goal uh, with Unity Bands to hit just in a few months time. So could you tell someone watching this uh, why they should contribute to the cause? Definitely. Like we just said, everybody wants the world to go back to normal. Everybody wants to be able to go out with friends. Everybody wants to be able to watch the Super Bowl with friends and go to a bar and travel and sporting events, concerts, everything. Even like, honestly, I'm a little anxious to even go back to school now. It's, you know, you want to just get back to normal. So the band is $3. So it's really, no matter who you are, this band is affordable to you. And, you know, it's half the price of a Bud Light. It's the price of like a French, fr French fries from McDonald's. You know, it's for sure affordable to everybody. So go ahead, $3, easy donation. You get the band, you're definitely spreading awareness, definitely for a good cause. So why would you just not want to help out? Let's play some word association for a minute. Uh, I'm going to say three words and you just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, first, hope. For the future. Fight. This horrible disease. Unity. Bands. Awesome, with that T, is there anything else you'd like to add for the Unity Bands community? No, just go out. I don't know if you're attaching like a link to the bands, but like I said, one band can make a big difference. So go out there. Let's hit our goal. Yes. Unity bands, unitybands.org. Let's hit our goal and uh, go Mahomes. There it is. Well, thanks for joining us, T. Signing off for Unity Bands. I'm Khalil Garriott. Hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for watching. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. That $50 I paid my sister to say nice things really paid off. Uh, no, I appreciate it, T. And uh, Khalil, thanks for the interview. So uh, 1,500 bands today? Are you guys crazy? I told you to be conservative. All right, so uh, there you have it. We have a goal of selling 1,500 Unity bands today. Uh, if you like this content that we're posting today, please buy some bands. Um, if you want to support our frontline workers, and our vaccine researchers, please buy some Unity Bands. The goal for this hour is to sell 300 bands. I'm sure we're crushing these goals so far. Um, it, this is the largest hourly goal, but I'm confident in you guys and in your support of this cause. Uh, again, COVID-19 response and research to include the University of Maryland Medical Center and the University of Maryland School of Medicine. So we're gonna tag on an additional goal this hour uh, sharing our website and our Facebook link with friends and family. 
So unitybands.org or facebook.com slash unitybands.org. Share it with friends and family. So, uh, you know, let's get 50 shares this hour. Uh, please let us know what you're doing today. Uh, if you're buying bands or sharing our links, you can send us an email at unitybandsorg at gmail.com or uh, on our Facebook at unitybandsorg. So don't be modest. Feel free to share your progress today. We look forward to hearing from everybody, pictures, sharing links, everything like that. So again, thanks for your support, and uh, we'll see you again in the next hour.